Lesson two, part one B, deponent future middle indicative. Verbs that are deponent in the present are also deponent in the future. However, there are also some verbs that are not deponent in the present that are deponent in the future. So all of the ones that are deponent in present are deponent in the future, but we've added a few additional ones. Almost all the deponent verbs have a change stem of some sort. Something really weird is happening. There are a couple that are regular. We've got Peru from Peruamai, which becomes Perus. As I mentioned before, if the stem ends in an upsilon, it's going to be regular. Everybody else is going to do something weird. Um, so a sigma combination, pros uch, remember, he plus sigma equals c becomes pros ux. Now, there are lots of them where there's a very changed stem. Erchomai becomes elusamai. This is the same thing that happened with Pharaoh before and happened with Lego before. There were two separate verbs and they blended together into one and that's why we've got going on this totally different thing now good news all of the ones that are made out of erkamai do the exact same thing just with their little uh with their little prefix on there so apalus dialus asalus exalus even the ones you haven't learned like prosalus woo yay we know i know and we know a new one now um i'll do the same thing ginamai becomes ginais now you'll notice this sort of ace ending. This is probably, I think the second time it show up, we, we saw it on Hurisco became Hurace. Um, this, this Ada Sigma thing uh, is actually gonna be a little bit more common than we'd expect. Um, there's no rule on when it happens, but it can be a good clue that you have a second, uh, a second stem. So, uh, but the sigma will will generally clue you into the second stem anyway. Though we will we will see lots of sigmas in the third stem too. But that that eta sigma thing shows up a lot for some reason in, in the in the second stem here. And we've got dunamai. Oh look there, dunes. Um, note all the erkomai verbs change the same way, just with the prefix on the beginning. All right, now here are the verbs that are not deponent in the present but they are deponent in the future. Why are they deponent in the future? I have no idea. It's just what they do. It's just what Greek does. So these two are very similar. Anabino and katabino become anabase and katabase. There's that eta sigma again, randomly in the place of all kinds of other letters, but there it is. Um, ginosko, the ginos becomes gnos. So the I dro the iota drops out and the kappa gets munched in with everything else. Why does it do that? No clue. It's just what it does. It just gets a changed stem. Amy becomes S. And as there's, there's a note at the bottom, we'll see here in a minute, this is the ponent. Why is it the ponent? It just is. It doesn't make any sense because Amy is neither future, is, is neither active nor passive because it's a state of verb. It's a linking verb, but it's the ponent here. Just go with it. Estio becomes fog. That's another example of uh, just a total of uh, two different verbs blending. Lombano becomes a lapse. All right. So it's like, it's sort of like the alpha and nu drop out and the beta blends with the sigma to become the psi. And then this alpha lengthens. Why? Who knows? It just does. Paralombano does the same thing since it comes from Lombano. So paralamps. Pino becomes P. Watch that one. That one will throw you. If you're not paying attention, uh, probably the first couple times you see it, you're going to go, what on earth am I looking at? Because there's very few letters to work with. So be careful. Watch out for that. As I mentioned, note, Amy is the opponent in the future. It's great. Now, there are a couple exceptions to how a few of these work. So stick with this here. Also note, Amy has a slightly irregular third person singular. It should be s et I, but... That's just a lot. So it got shortened to estai. So just don't worry about where the epsilon went. It's just estai. Now, estio and patho, we would, we would expect them to be fage and pa for the second person singular, but they take that exception ending we've talked about before, the one we saw with dunamai and kathemai in the imperfect middle passive indicative. They're going to take they're going to take that psi ending, their psi and fog si. So watch out for those two. That's very unusual. Probably look at them and go, what on earth am I looking at? 
That's what you're looking at right there. Summary, some verbs are not deponent in the present that are deponent in the future, and we need to learn the stems.